First, though, the angry Adelaide customers fighting back against the NBN. Australia's biggest infrastructure project has been plagued by endless complaints about slow speeds and unreliability. Now, local businesses and residents want to join forces to launch an unprecedented class action. Yazdedovic has their story. What we've got is a, a non-bloody network. So it goes down a couple of minutes to a couple of hours every day. A 40 minute job has taken three, four hours. They can mount uh, a class action uh, in the federal court. It's cost us around $50 billion so far, but instead of delivering faster internet speeds, the National Broadband Network has left many of us offline. This is a, a breach of the Trade Practices Act. Um, there's a service there they're meant to be providing. Meet business owners and residents in Morfitt Vale, so fed up with the NBN, they want to take on one of Australia's largest corporations in a class action. We've decided to take legal action because it's totally unacceptable. In the local area, there's roughly about 100 people experiencing the same issues, disconnection issues. IT expert Kieran O'Rourke manages a small business, but since the switch last year, his internet service has been slow and sometimes non-existent. A financial disaster, particularly because computers are his livelihood. We're angry. We just beat our heads against the wall constantly with NBN Co, getting no response, no answers. Having been promised world-class speeds, Kieran is scathing about what they've delivered and has had to fork out $200 per day for mobile data simply to stay in business. We've estimated loss of about $20,000. Um, that's been in mobile phone data charges, alternative uh, internet solutions for the shop. Down the road, Mark Stevens was also recently connected to the NBN, but as our camera rolled, the service suddenly disconnects. We've had the technician here six times. Uh, consequently, uh, they say it's going to be OK every time he's here. Um, he leaves. Uh, come about 48 hours, bang, it's shut down again. Like for so many of us, the internet has become an essential service, without which Mark's son, for instance, can't complete his studies. He can get access to the internet, so virtually the only thing he can do is probably go up the library and uh, use their internet, which is a bit of an inconvenience. Another local, tech-savvy Josh Waydock, went to the trouble of purchasing a computer program which monitors speeds and disconnection rates. The longest one we've actually got on here was on Feb 1st and that was for 41 hours of no internet at all to the premises. Kieran says the culprit is likely a fibre to the node connection, the federal government's cut rate solution which links fibre cables to Telstra's existing copper wires. There was pre-existing issues in the area before with the Telstra network. Um, these were on Telstra data maps and MBN co ignored them and rolled out MBN straight over the top, not fixing the underlying issues. It's no wonder complaints to the telco ombudsman about MBN services are surging in South Australia, but the federal government continues its rollout of substandard infrastructure. I hate it. Um, should have stuck to the fibre to the premises. Despite complaints from businesses and residents here in Morfitt Vale to NBN Co about slow internet speeds and disconnections, they say their problems have continued for months, which is why they hope a class legal action will finally result in a permanent solution. The question then becomes uh, why the problems have been experienced. Is it totally beyond the control of NBN Co or has it failed to deliver what it should have delivered? Lawyer Anthony Rossi says class action is possible if NBN customers can establish their internet problems aren't caused by service providers. NBN Co has a responsibility insofar as the service relates to connecting to the node. Then there is the issue of from the node to the house uh, and there can be issues that arise about responsibility. He says if that's not possible, the easier option is to pursue your service provider. That's the entity that has been contracted with. Uh, the service provider may provide an explanation as to why it considers that it's not liable. In a statement, NBN Co says it regrets any customer's dissatisfaction and that Kieran's problems are now fixed. Kieran intends to recoup his losses either way, but points the blame squarely at unreliable NBN. The internet service providers are the piggy in the middle. It's frustrating. They shouldn't be the one lumped with the bill. At the end of the day, it should be NBN Co. And you'll find the NBN's full statement on our website.